Okay, how can I help you? Hi, I'm picking up a mobile order. Thank you. Thank you so much. Today we are each attempting to eat more food than either of us have ever consumed in a 24 hour time period. Well, I'm near my limit now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, there ain't much more room there. While ultimately seeing which twin can take it that one step further. <laughs> and we're kicking things off with McDonald's. We've got a sausage McMuffin. We ordered bacon, but they were a hot mess over there at McDonald's this morning. Yeah. They did not give us the hash browns. Literally, we ordered three items. McDonald's couldn't get there. Good morning, how can I help you? Hi, I just picked up a mobile order and you guys forgot the hash browns. Here you go. Here Thank you. Seeing this is technically a competition, we figured we'd weigh the fast food orders simply to ensure we're as even as possible. Now, if you're wondering, the time is just before 6.30, so we do have up until 6.30 tomorrow. Long day ahead of us. Let's take it down. Now we're only tracking weight for fairness and curiosity purposes, but we will need to each exceed 20,000 calories for today to be a success. Now onto these legendary McGriddles, which have soft maple flavored griddle cakes for buns with a sausage patty, folded egg, and American cheese. Easily one of our favorite McDonald's menu items alongside their soft serve. But we made one more stop for breakfast, which we'll be pitting this final item against. The McMuffin is great but the McGriddle is superior. That thing was phenomenal. So greasy, so full of flavor, sweet, salty, amazing. Now let's see who does hash browns better, McDonald's or Dunkin'? Hi, how can I help you? Alrighty, you're all set. Thank you so much. Alrighty. Thanks so much. You wanna start with the McDonald's? Sounds good to me. I definitely have no skin in the game when it comes to hash browns, so. <laughs> no, not at all. This is going to be a completely unbiased opinion. And just like these McDonald's hash browns come individually, the calorie and weight updates today are for each of us separately. I'll tell you what, they both have completely different things going for it. Yes, they're both great in completely different ways. Let's say on the count of three, which one we think was better. All right, three, Two, one, McDonald's. But I give it to McDonald's for the texture and it, it does have a good flavor, but Dunkin's is way more seasoned. Oh yeah. So if you like a big, bold flavor, I'd go with Dunkin', but this isn't our food review. This is a food challenge. So let's get into Dunkin'. All right, we've got a breakfast sandwich and um, and these bagel bites. Yeah, it's everything bagel with cream cheese in the inside. Let's do those first. Let's see if you can see that. All right. Now, everything that goes in stays in for us in our food challenges, but especially with today's goal requiring us to max out our stomach capacities, if any food is expelled, that person will be immediately disqualified. You gave the worst item at Dunkin' in our Dunkin' video to their bagels. My bottom is has got to be that plain bagel. Those things are amazing. That's such a chewy and like moist bagel. Yeah. Dogged on their bagels a lot. The texture was just so atrocious, but those things are awesome. More awesome than this breakfast sandwich, to be honest. It's good, but the only real flavor was coming from the sweet caramelized bacon. Compared to the heavily seasoned sausage patty and American cheese in the other sandwiches, this felt like it was missing something. That was a good breakfast sandwich, but it does not touch their sausage egg and cheese. Mm -hmm. It also doesn't touch the ones that we had from McDonald's. McDonald's no. is winning, I guess, so far. But we didn't get anything sweet from McDonald's, and we got sweets from Dunkin'. Yes. And everyone knows that we're sweets, guys. All right, let's kick things off with this chocolate one. Double chocolate cake. We've said it before, and we'll say it again. Dunkin' knows how to make a good chocolate cake donut. And clearly, we filmed this right before Halloween, given the festive sprinkles on this strawberry frosted, and we couldn't leave without the classic maple. Now, our strategy going into today probably had us pacing ourselves a bit too modestly, as you'll eventually see, but meal one has us each over 3,000 calories for a bit over two pounds of food. That's gotta be one of the most generously frosted maple donuts that they've ever given us. Amazing, but I think that the best thing, in my opinion, that we had for all the breakfast items has to be the McGriddle. I agree. That was such a fun way to start. Mm -hmm. But we've eaten a lot of food in a 24 hour time period. So we have a very big day ahead. Montage. First, a quick stop for gas. 
and we still have some time to kill before our next restaurant opens, but we've gotta get some more calories in. So we're splitting up, heading into Walmart, and each grabbing an item that looks epic to us and surprising the other with our choice. All right, what'd you get us? I got us a Marie Callender's peanut butter cream pie. Ooh. Yeah, I brought a knife, but I didn't bring fork, so we're eating this with our hands. Wouldn't be the first time. It's just past uh, just past 10 o'clock right now. The next stop we're going to opens in like an hour, so we got time. Yep, let's eat this thing. Oh, that deserves a high five. That is peanut butter overload. Oh man, that's good. Believe it or not, peanut butter pie isn't something we've had a substantial amount of in our lifetime, but this could be the start of us making up for lost time. Now this one's got a chocolate cookie crumb crust with creamy peanut butter filling and chocolate chips. You can't beat that. And unlike our eating for 24 hours straight video, where there were a few stops we both ordered separate items from, rule number three for today is that we must eat identical orders throughout the entire challenge. That'll keep things fair come the final battle. What a good choice. I'm so happy I got to enjoy that before we enter the pain cave later. Oh. Let me grab what I got. 12 seconds later. All right, that pie was sweet, but I think I may have even outdone you in sweetness. But we haven't tried these before, so let's see. I recognize this packaging. Birthday cake lint truffles. Oh yeah, I've been dying to try these. We're probably gonna wanna unwrap all of these. And it's not a bad idea. <laughs> One eternity later. Of all the unideal eating situations we've been in the past few months, this may be one of the least. <laughs> Let's try these. If you like the white chocolate lint truffle, you've gotta be eating these ones. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. Two solid picks. Now, just like meal one, we'll keep all the main restaurant orders a collaborative effort, but this isn't the last time we'll each have our shot at choosing for the both of us today. Man, creamy, crispy, vanilla-y, and sweet, unsweet, unsweet. I'm crazy about those, but it's time for some lunch. Believe it or not, this is our first time with Buffalo Wild Wings. <gasps> yes! And I am so excited to try these fully loaded bird dogs. When I was looking at the menu, that was the first thing that caught my eye. Look at this thing. Let's do it. That is assertive, yeah. Now, we should probably explain what a loaded bird dog is. These things have a hand breaded chicken tender, honey mustard, grilled onions, New Belgium fat tire beer cheese, and green onions on a brioche bun. My goodness. Spicy, sweet, salty, fatty. That thing is a flavor explosion. I'm crazy about it. It's got more of a kick to it than I was expecting it to have. Yeah, seriously. I love it. And then put anything on a brioche bun. Yeah. And it's gonna be great. All right, let's do the sides before we tackle the next one. And we are onion rings over fries, guys. Comment whether you're a fries or onion rings person. And so we had to go with the onion rings. These things are hefty. These feel sturdy. Yeah. Like a sturdy onion ring. Yeah, wow. That's gonna have a lot of crisp to it. And then we got the cheese curds. Let's see if this thing's got crunch. Bitch the heck out of the uh, fast food onion rings that we've been eating for the last couple of years. Hey, I'm still a sucker for those Burger King onion rings to be honest, but these are obviously on a completely different level. Plus they come with this Southwestern ranch sauce, which I am crazy about. I'd say this was also quite the generous portion size for the fact that each side only ran us about $4. Definition of melt in your mouth. I'm having a great time over here. So good. Now, before one of our subscribers corrects us, we did realize we've actually had one Buffalo Wild Wings product in a video before, but it was a slice of their chocolate cake about a year ago when we did a showdown of every chain restaurant chocolate cake. So we still consider this our first go with their actual menu. And let us tell you, we're thinking we're gonna need to go back and try more. That is a generous portion size. Yeah. 
And anyone that's been a subscriber of this channel for a minute has heard us say a hundred times that what goes down stays down for us. And unfortunately, that's the item that's going to be staying down there for far longer than I want it to be down there. <laughs> that's gonna lock you up for a month. That's a lot of cheese. All right, we've still got one more bird dog to do. Let me show them one last time. This thing is absolutely sick. But this has got to be the saltiest, fattiest meal like I've ever had. This reminds me of an amazing chain restaurant meal meets like fair food. Yeah, oh absolutely. Yeah, Nate wasn't kidding when he called this the saltiest, fattiest order imaginable. But we've got a date with a massive fast food family meal deal later today that could rival it. We gotta go back to this place, man. If all of their food is that good, I want in on more. Yeah, it was excellent. But that was a lot of salt. So I think that we need to polish off, round off the meal with something a little sweet. And we've got some buttermilk pie and vanilla eggnog. There's always room for something sweet until there's not enough room for something sweet. We're gonna find that point later today, that's for sure. Ugh, such a good dessert. Now we aren't counting the weight of any liquids today like water or soda with the exception being this vanilla eggnog. This stuff is thick and tastes like the richest melted vanilla milkshake. That combo is ultimate. And as good as the Buffalo Wild Wings was, as amazing as the Buffalo Wild Wings was, it's sweet over savory all day for me. But luckily we have room for more of both today. Yeah, we're gonna have to be careful with the salty foods though, because ever since Buffalo Wild Wings, I just wanna guzzle a gallon of water. Yeah, that meal was no joke. I think I've got something good in mind though. Of course, not. Six. All right, you ready for this? What do you got? Salted Caramel Core Ben & Jerry's, our favorite flavor of Ben & Jerry's. Dude, you are crushing the choices today. Here's a spoon. Thank you. Oh, oh yeah. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Unacceptable amounts of caramel caramel. I think this deserves one of these. Man, I'm in heaven. Sweet cream ice cream loaded with salted caramel and blondie pieces. You can't go wrong. I guess I'm gonna make sure that the camera's actually rolling right now. We're good. We've had a few close calls lately. We just introed these Dunkin' Sausage Egg and Cheese McMuffins. We've been eating them and then realized we weren't recording because we actually just ate all of these on camera and they didn't save. I gotta give them one more shot. Just like, look how much, look how low that is. This is everything I needed right now. Mm-hmm. And after a pound of Ben & Jerry's, at least we've finally exceeded 10,000 calories each. For a couple guys who have done that in a single sitting like a thousand times, it took us long enough. But for whatever reason, the coldness of the ice cream feels so refreshing at this point, I could just keep eating Ben & Jerry's for the rest of the challenge and be a happy camper. I feel like that pint of ice cream just jolted me back to life. But there's only one thing I feel like I've missed today so far. Something fruity, but BJ's didn't have what I was looking for. No, they don't have what I came for. But they did have this Cheesecake Factory pumpkin cheesecake. All right, I'm extremely excited about this, but I am getting eaten alive by mosquitoes right now, so we gotta get into this. Oh my God. Have we said that about everything today? I think so. <laughs> Speaking of getting eaten alive, we each ended up walking away from today with probably 50 mosquito bites between this location and the peanut butter cream pie moment earlier. But we wanted to take advantage of this random warm day because winter is coming fast and we live in the northeast of the USA, so we won't be able to film outside for much longer until spring. We know a lot of y'all like the out and about stuff, but you won't be finding us eating cheesecake in the snow, so prepare yourselves now. What can I get for you? I am picking up a mobile order for Peter. Dude, we've got to kick it into gear. Like, like for real. Yeah. I, I am not saying this for the camera. We legitimately have to start crushing calories. Yeah, we'd fallen way behind. Sorry about 
That's okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good one. Take care. So we're not as far along as we'd like, so to make up for it, we got the largest family meal deal that Taco Bell currently offers on the app, plus extras. And this thing comes with a couple of uh, beefy five-layer burritos, right? Yeah, and we had an extra. <laughs> yeah. This plate weighs so much more than you think it does. Seriously. This thing's nice and fresh, though. They loaded it with the sauces. That looks gooey. No complaint. No. This build your own meal for four deal is sick. And out of the 12 classics and four sides you get, these beefy five layer burritos are definitely the most bang for your buck and are actually delicious. There was also a random cheesy bean burrito in the box, which we split. Normally we would have gotten fire sauce, but we didn't feel like dealing with packets, so we brought a few ounces of zesty ranch we had in the fridge to pair with them. That beefy five layer burrito is such a steal. For that price. Yeah. That is so heavy. There's so so much food. Maybe let's do the nacho fries, because I feel like those are gonna be a lot worse the colder they get. Yes, there's nothing worse than extremely cold fries, and these are already cold. <laughs> yeah, these are pretty cold. May not may as well not get any colder. Let's take them down. Yeah, the nacho fries and nacho cheese sauce was a good move for calories, but I definitely would have enjoyed the cinnamon twist more out of these options for sides. But we had another plan for something sweet. That reminded me of every reason why I don't order fries. We are onion rings over fries, guys. Comment whether you're a fries or onion rings person. Now we've got two different kinds of tacos. My idea is to put the Dorito taco inside of the soft taco, except my Dorito taco already <laughs> is so soggy that it literally split in half already. I'm gonna try that with this one. That was good. Nate with the good ideas. Now, something we neglected to film was us ordering a few grilled cheese burritos to take thumbnail photos with before placing this actual order. And we weren't about to waste one of our favorite Taco Bell items, so we ended up finishing them while choosing the options we were going with for this meal deal. So we're including those calories and costs in the final total for today. That would have been an impossible task without those soft tacos. That would have been an impossible task without that ranch. Yeah, seriously. But that was a great idea, putting the Doritos taco in the soft taco. Yeah. Next up, we've got a dessert. Of course, if we're going to Taco Bell, we're picking up Cinnabon Delights. And to wash it down, another 10 ounces of eggnog. Okay, cold vanilla eggnog with warm donut holes filled with Cinnabon cream cheese frosting dusted in cinnamon sugar. Let's talk about that. That combo. That might be one of the best, the best like product combinations we've ever done. That is absolutely insane. Wow. I can't believe it. While we're here, we may as well get one more item down. We have these limited edition wintertime white cinnamon crisp Ritter Sport Bars, and I feel like that would taste also amazing with that vanilla eggnog. Yes. Dude, we went from zero to 100. I'm feeling this meal. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. I'm not feeling it at all. I would like to let everybody know, Pete has been saying for months that he is going to crush me in this competition. We've been planning this. Yes, of course. And so you're gonna have to comment below whether you're team Pete or team Nate in this competition. Who do you think is gonna win? Cause he seems to be very confident that it's going to be him, Ritter. I've been playing mind games with him for a while now, it's true. But following this Ritter bar will each be between 16 and 17,000 calories, so we made some decent progress with this meal. That was the cavity combo. Speaking of a cavity combo. Oh, I wanted to tell the people where we are. Oh, we're at Crumble Cookies. Why aren't we at Crumble Cookies? We're at Crumble Cookies because I said that I didn't want Crumble Cookies this week. So Nate may become the crumble cookie. But I think at this point, we're gonna have to go full Pete versus Nate. Each pick products that we think is gonna take each other down. You know what? Get rid of it. All right, all right. You good? I think we should start with the pancake one. People complain about crumble cookies prices. This thing is massive. It's every time we go to crumble, 
They are 10 times bigger than I think they are. Yeah, all right, let's try it. Yep. We shouldn't be doing this. 16,000 calories deep. That is the best sugar cookie I've ever had in my life. All right, let's see how consistent crumble cookies are for weight. 6.4, 6.2. Six point three, six point six. That middle bite, man, so soft and gooey. Amazing. For me, the textures were on point. The flavor was a little boring. All right, strawberry cheesecake. Strawberry cheesecake. That's what I actually went into BJ's Wholesale Club hoping to acquire earlier. This cookie version was okay, but hey, they're just calories at this point. That was delicious but it completely flipped the script of my review of the last cookie, where I felt like the flavor was all there, but the texture was okay. They're losing me with the cold cookie. Yeah, I love the warm cookies though. You got anything for me? So the only things I know Nate really doesn't want right now is anything super salty or fast food. And while neither of those particularly appeal to me right now, I think that I could break him a little bit more mentally. Careful with those. I shouldn't have let you buy me this. <laughs> That's exactly what I need right now. Ghost pepper ranch chicken sandwich. How can I help you? I am picking up a mobile order for Peter. Thank you. Thank you. Take Thank care. You so much. Look what Pete's making me eat. Dave's single from Wendy's. It's pretty sad looking. Honestly. It I, really looks quite puny. I also ordered Frosties. I do not have any Frosties at this time. Didn't get the pumpkin spice Frosty. Asked for sweet and sour sauce, got barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce? I said sweet and sour. Luckily, nothing sounds good right now. And so like, I'd be a lot more disappointed if I was in like good spirits right now. That was like our sixth time trying to acquire that pumpkin spice frosty and we still haven't gotten it. But at least they delivered on the extra mayo I requested. All that complaining, it was pretty good. Neither loved it nor hated it. There are your nuggets. Do you want the barbecue sauce? Yeah, I need something. Oh, they gave us a lot of it, huh? All right. And while we may not be fans of the barbecue sauce, Wendy's does have some of our favorite fast food nuggets. So shout out to them for that. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the last salty thing I was gonna eat today. I think that's the last salty thing I'm gonna eat today. <laughs> One pair of pants later. I want something cold, let's start with ice cream cake. Okie dokie. It's three in the morning. I'm so tired, I'm so cranky. <laughs> You're putting your pretty little cake in a bowl? I am. <laughs> I, know, I know it's gonna melt. <laughs> this, thing's a, this thing's adorable, that's the best word I have for it. If you're wondering what, wh why we have what we have, simply because it either was the only thing that looked remotely palatable at the store, or it was already in our house. Okay. Ice cream cake. Now here's a fair trade. I'll show y'all my epic food baby in the next clip if you give this video a like, comment, and share with a friend. I'm gonna eat a piece of buttermilk pie. Well, this softens up a little bit more. It's hurting my teeth a little bit. Weak. I'll join you though, just so we're on track. Patient together. We had one of these earlier today. And you know what we had it with? Eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> we got 16 ounces more, right? <laughs> we just kept buying eggnog. <laughs> yeah, I know. It is the season. <laughs> No good. That's better than I thought it would be. Oh right my now. gosh, that combo is so good. <laughs> the food baby has entered Walmart. <laughs> oh, I look like hell, man. I hit the liquids way too hard. <laughs> Two liters of soda. It's a bad idea. Dave Portnoy is gonna tell me my shirt's six sizes too small. <laughs> your shirt's six sizes too small, Fatso. <laughs> your shirt's six sizes too small, Fatso. That was delicious. I am so greasy that my glasses will not stay on my face anymore. <laughs> they must keep moving. Uh, what? <laughs>
Bring back the plate. Bring back the plate. They listen to buttermilk pie. I'm gonna see if I can. All right, let me show them this one last time, cause why not? It's prettier than I look right now. They've got to see something that's nice. Most looking. things are. Yeah, luckily that Walmart trip you just saw was right at closing time, so there weren't too many people around. Being in public in this condition is quite humbling to say the least. It's probably the fast food napkin. Yeah, those cheap Taco Bell napkins. But hey, at least they give us napkins at Taco Bell. Wonderful people. <clears throat> Everybody's just gonna think that we really wanted pot. <laughs> but we did have, we had these buttermilk pies because we got them on the clearance rack at Walmart a few days ago, and that is actually technically two days expired at this point. Yeah, we're, sucker, we're suckers for a good deal. <laughs> it comes in handy, right? All right, next up we've got these strawberry cream pie from Edwards, another cream pie. Again, we got it because it was cold. For some reason, cold is the craving right now. And these were, these were clearance too. All the Edwards pies were on sale. Oh, that's nice. I said I needed something fruity today. And that is something fruity. Mm -hmm. We may have scored some epic items at a discount, but we still managed to spend over $270 between the two of us on food from all the restaurants and grocery store stops. Not our most frugal day of eating. It's such a delicious flavor. The texture is not pleasant at the moment. Mm-mm. Mine's so soft. I'm gonna have to switch to a utensil. At this point, we've succeeded at our first goal with this slice of pie and glass of eggnog taking us each to 23,530 calories. And you'd think we'd be thrilled, but to be honest, we anticipated one of us tapping out somewhere in the four pounds of dessert and eggnog we each had at this meal, so the fact that we still don't have a winner is a bit devastating. This is a familiar feeling. Uh, that I've forgotten about. It's been a long time oh. since we've been uh, <clears throat> this far into a food challenge. Yeah. I didn't think we were making it through all that. No. <laughs> the, I, we, brought, we brought the ice cream cake <clears throat> and those two full pies and the pound of eggnog, thinking that was gonna be it. <laughs> we just finished that. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to go see what else is in our apartment. A little longer than a few minutes later. Dude, you are so swollen. Yeah. Your hands are swollen. Oh yeah, it's embarrassing. We both look like All right, so we had some ice cream in the freezer and we did some talking and we know exactly how this is gonna go, which is how it's gone every other time. I genuinely think that our capacities are very twin-like right now. Whichever one of us gets further, it's gonna be by like a bite. We're now at that point where it's just gonna be going back and forth, one bite, one bite. So I decided that as long as he could take down some of that pint of ice cream, I'm giving it to him because there has to be a winner in this scenario. I think the twins are calling this a tie. Some people were not happy about that tie. Don't take this too seriously. <laughs> we hope that you enjoyed it. <laughs> Please like, subscribe. But as for this one, we're just gonna go with Nate wins. <laughs> it is hilarious though, because I could just do the same. I could just take a few bites. It just doesn't matter. All right, there you go. We both ate more than we've ever eaten in a day. I guess that works. All right.